and um, I was sitting in uh, on a deck of this house in Kauai and just kind of in tears and my sister's like Kim why don't you live in a van <laughs> <laughs> and I went <laughs> A van? What do you mean a van? I can't live in a van. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And so she's like, wait, just wait. Just let me show you something. And so she shows me this Instagram site, 40 Hours of Freedom. And it was this beautiful, like, super cute couple with this super cute, tricked out, insta-famous insta van. Cute. So cute. And I was like, oh, well, I could live in that van. That van's pretty cute. I could totally live in that van. And I was Not like, the how, homeless VW how do you, yeah, <laughs> it's like down by the river. Um, but you, you, I was like, well, <laughs> how would I do that? You just drive it. I could, sorry, I think I wrote over. So I called them and, and I asked them if they did build outs and they did. And so then I emailed them, told them my story and they called me back and they're like, yeah, it's like six months out before we could even start a build out. And then it's another three months, four months after that. And I just went, mm. I need a house now. And he's like, well, we haven't announced this, but we're pregnant. And we just wanted to know if you wanted to buy our van because we're going to move our shop to Boise. And so the very van that I said, oh, I could live in that van, <laughs> <laughs> was the van they offered to sell it worked, me. It worked out. I was like, yes, I will buy your van. So I used the insurance money that I, they give you some money for rent. Um, if you have that in your policy, and I was lucky enough to have some, so I used um, that money, all of it, and then some to, to buy the van. So I quit my job because that's a whole other part of the story with just the stress and what was happening with the company and, and all these things. And I, I became homeless <laughs> and jobless and had a van, and I hit the road. A year and that's ago. what I've been doing a year. But what I did do is I also, I know of a, there's a practice in Denver. She, she does, she's probably the best eating disorder medical practice, concierge medicine in the country. And um, I called her and I said, I need referrals and I'm going to start doing telemedicine. So I've been doing mm. teletherapy, telemedicine with clients all over the world, all over the West Coast, really, in Canada, all year. Um, and that's how I've been working, but I have been, I've hit, I've totally changed my life. I mean, I've traveled all over the, I mean, I've climbed mountains. I've seen things I just wouldn't have had access to. I've, um, minimized everything in my life to where, you know, I've been wearing the same clothes for a year now. <laughs> my small little closet full of clothes. Um, but I've done things that, you know, what, I, what my experience is meeting people is that everybody's like, oh, I want to do that. I want to, I want to, that's my retirement plan. Or mm -hmm. that's, I mean, a lot of like millennials or that's their first home plan. And so I've realized that there's this whole culture of like van life and people wanting to do that. But, but I think there, that the appeal of it for so many people is that it simplifies everything. It simplifies, you know, when we talk about stress and we talk about, um, you know, emotionally trying to, to just kind of connect. I mean, you have to, you just drop in. The, the amount of times I'm just silent with myself and alone, you know, in a, on a mountain or somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And I've had to be in that stillness. And if you look at any Buddhist practice of you know, Zen mind, it's, it's, it's almost just how you get there. So I've gone from worrying about a lot of the corporate stuff that I would worry about, or, you know, I was worried about how I was going to fix my house too, like continue the renovations. I was worried about almost kind of like the keeping up with the Joneses, Joneses kind of thing. And now I, I don't think about really any of it. I, I am no re rebuild. I am rebuilding. You are. But I, the, the, even the approach that I have with that is that it's going to be okay. 